Hello Booktube, I'm coming to you with another tag video and perhaps you've noticed I'm trying a bit something a bit different here. I'm trying to film this video on my laptop so I would like to hear how this works like how this how's the video quality, how's the sound quality. I would like to hear that from you. Um, anyway, the tag is called the Mid-Year Book Freakout tag. Question number one. Best book you've read so far this year? And I think that's going to be Sharks in the Time of Saviors by Kawaii Strong Washburn. And a remarkable debut novel. And yeah, I made a full video dedicated to this book. So if you're interested, go check that one out. But yeah, I would highly, highly recommend this. Probably my best book of the year so far. And two, best sequel you've read so far this year. And that is probably, uh, well, I haven't read many sequels this year, but um, so <laughs> it's not that many sequels I can, I can so choose from. But, um, I think I'm going to choose Royal Assassin by Robin Hobb. And that's the second book in her Farseer trilogy. Yeah, it gave me everything everything that was good in the first book and even more so I hugely enjoyed that question number three new release you haven't read but want to and that's probably Clara and the Sun by Kazuo Ishiguro I've read everything by Kazuo Ishiguro so far and yeah I'm looking forward to his latest book as well. And for most anticipated release for the second half of the year. And I'm very bad at keeping track of what's upcoming. So uh, <laughs> there's very little anticipation for anything. Um, so <laughs> I'm going to cheat a bit and say Clara ja Aurinko by Kazuo Ishiguro. Yes, that's the Finnish translation of Clara and the Sun and that should be released in September this year. Question number five. Biggest disappointment and that is probably Gatila by Katja Kettu. Um, Yeah, like I, I thought that this was okay, but because I had seen the movie version before, this felt a bit, bit of a letdown compared to the movie. So the structure doesn't work, and there are so many bad sex scenes, and just why? <laughs> This would have benefited from from a more straightforward structure, which I think the movie managed to bring into the story. So, yeah, too bad. I like the language though. Katja Kettu is a good writer. Um, six biggest surprise. And that's going to be. Unkarilainen Rhapsodia by Sold von Harsanui or Hungarian Rhapsody in English. I don't know <laughs> what's in English title really. But anyway. Um, and translated from the Hungarian into Finnish by Karlo Nieminen. And yeah, so this novel is basically uh, yeah, it's a novel about the life of Franz Liszt, the Hungarian pianist. And Biggest surprise because I had well I had no expectations really so but uh, because I had never heard about this book or about this author I somehow thought that there must have been some kind of reason why I never hear this book or the author talked about like it must be one of those forgotten for a reason kind of authors however 
Yeah, well, because of that, this was such a huge surprise. So I really enjoyed it. And it made me want to learn more about Franz Liszt and his time period. So that's that's also really good. So Hungarian Rhapsody by Zoltan Harsenry. And favorite new author. And uh, that's kind of a tricky one because I don't really believe in uh, favorite authors. I think even favorite authors can do you know, bad books. So. Um, but if I have to choose one, um, maybe Nathaniel Hawthorne. I had read his uh, Young Goodman Brown a short story few years ago and I really liked that and now just a few weeks ago I, get, I read um, The Scarlet Letter and really really enjoyed that especially because of uh, Hawthorne's writing it's very beautiful so if his other books are even nearly as good as The Scarlet Letter yeah I'm pretty sure Nathaniel Hawthorne will become one of my favorite authors and eight newest fictional crush and yeah I don't really do fictional crushes so who wants for that nine newest favorite character and that's probably Night Eyes from the Farsia trilogy Night Eyes is a wolf he's very witty very witty and brave and good sarcastic sense of humor. I'm always waiting for his next line in the books. 10. Book that made you cry. And well, there hasn't been any book that has uh, made me sort of uh, cry, uh, bawl my eyes out. But. Uh, Sharks in the Time of Saviors made me cry a bit. And Assassin, Assassin's Apprentice, the first book in Robin Hobb's Farsia trilogy, made me cry a bit. Okay. 11. Book that made you happy. Now that's even more difficult. So, in a way, every good book that I finish makes me happy because, yeah, I have just finished a good book. However, I think I'm going to say Aron Morsiamet or Bright Story by Kaoru Mori. And this is a manga series set in um, 19th century Central Asia. And yeah, I don't, I don't really, I can't really explain what makes me so happy about this. I was just depicting some, um, you know what it is to marry in the culture and yeah just everyday life I guess and just look at that back cover you know that setting makes me happy all right 12 most beautiful books that you've read so far this year oh most beautiful book that you've got so far this year. Yeah. I obviously can't read. And that's <laughs> going to be this massive book. This is Bosch, The Complete Works by Stefan Fischer. And yeah, like the title suggests, this is you know, complete works of the famous painter Hieronymus, Hieronymus Bosch. And yeah, you've probably seen some of his paintings before. I'm going to show you one of his most famous ones. This, the Garden of Earthly Delights. No. I can't see what's happening, but I hope <laughs> I hope you're seeing the picture. Yeah. So yeah, this is probably my the most beautiful book I've bought so far this year. But there were many contenders. Um, 13. What, what book do you, 
what books do you need to read by the end of the year? And there's really no need to read any books because I don't do this for a living. So why would I need to read any books? So I'm going to give a boring answer and say that I need to read as many of my physical books that I haven't read so far as you know as possible. I want to yeah I have a massive you know, physical TBR here in my roo room and I need to focus more on that rather than <laughs> always keep, keep on borrowing more books from the library or lately reading Kindle books. So <laughs> I need to do something about my physical library. 14. Best book to movie adaptation. And for that, I'm going to say the movie version of Catila. Um, so its English title is, I think, uh, like the, this would literally be translated, you know, as a uh, Midwife, Catila, but the movie is translated into English as uh, Wild Eye after our main character. And yeah, the movie is directed by Antti Hi Jokinen, and yeah, it does many things much better than the book. It's much more straightforward story, and it removes some of the <laughs> stupid sex scenes and. Yeah, good example of how to simplify a novel uh, in order to make the story more engaging and so act, add more emotional punch. Yeah, so I would say Wild Eye, that's probably the best book to movie adaptation that comes to mind at the moment because yeah this was such a dis disappointment compared to the movie that it, it made the movie seem even greater than it perhaps is so right um, yeah those were all of my answers and yeah already halfway through the year and looking good so far. Hopefully rest of the year will be as nice and successful. More more enjoyable books to come, hopefully. And yeah, what else? What else? Oh yeah, because this was, uh, you know, I'm testing my uh, different settings, so my laptop. So please let me know how's the video, how's the sound quality, because, you know, filming on my laptop would make life a bit more simpler anyway um, yeah that's it that's all for this time and I'm back to my bookie activities and see you soon